আচ্ছা মনুষ মায়ের জন্ম বৃত্তান্ত এখন স্বর্গের থেকে In the story of Manish's birth, a nymph was moving across the heaven. Seeing her, the naked Shiva, madman that he is, was aroused. He released his seed and it fell on a lotus plant in the cosmic ocean. Vasuki, king of snakes, ate the seed and became pregnant. From his mouth, the serpent mother was born. Manisha, the daughter of Shiva, is the goddess of snakes and she is worshipped throughout India. Manisha strikes fear into the human heart, but when approached with devotion, she becomes a protective mother, a divine female power who makes all creative action possible. Manisha is a deity of the earth. She intervenes in the cycles of growth and decay, life, death, and regeneration. During the rainy season, Manisha's rituals are performed. Her stories are sung and her favorite snakes are displayed. Worship of Manisha is offered in temples, open-air shrines, under sacred trees, and on household altars. Such sites are marked with votive offerings of clay horses and elephants. Manisha dwells in her sacred vessels of invocation. When one is consecrated and installed, it stands for the goddess herself. Men gather around the masters of snake play, priests who initiate devotees into the cult of Manisha. They celebrate the goddess, sing devotional songs, learn the lore of snakes, play with cobras, and in these ways, worship her.
By playing with snakes, master handlers render their powers visible, serve the goddess, and solicit her mercy. Although some of the venom is drawn from the cobras, enough poison remains for the goddess to destroy those who offend her. How shall we praise you? The land and the water, the heaven and the earth are your creation. You are the heart within all creatures. You are the creator, upholder, and destroyer. Your truth is infinite. You are the protector of heaven and earth and hell. The worlds all tremble for your mercy. Even the gods do not know how to praise you. How then shall we, mere humans, worship you? The town of Vishnupur is an ancient center of Manisha's worship. In the distant past, the kings of the region started the festivals and built the temples of Manisha to benefit the people. These rituals continue to be performed by family, community, and neighborhood groups. All of us cowherd boys together, we will gather wild flowers. With these flowers which please her most, we will garland the serpent mother. All of us cowherd boys together. Oh, mother. Dara and Demna snakes are the sentries at your door. All of us cowherd boys together. Oh, mother, the cobra snakes are the anklets on your feet. All of us cowherd boys together. Oh, mother, the Udai snake is a full necklace on your neck. All of us cowherd boys together. Oh, mother, the comb snake is a string to tie your hair. All of us cowherd boys together. Oh, mother, Vasuki, the king of snakes, holds the umbrella over your head. All of us cowherd boys together. All of us cowherd boys together. We will gather wildflowers. With these flowers which please her most, we will garland the serpent mother. All of us cowherd boys together. In addition to the sacred vessel, Manisha is also recognized in human form. A maiden of golden complexion, standing on a lotus and holding snakes in her hand.
Japan is the great festival of the snake goddess, the culmination of Manish's season of worship. It is an occasion for the display and celebration of snakes. Throughout the town, devotees prepare to celebrate the public rituals of the goddess. of serpents, daughter of Shiva, conqueror of poison, sweet as nectar, and radiant as the moon. The purpose of the ritual is to bring the goddess to her altar, satisfy her with service, and gain her blessing. Million purify and consecrate the images for the worship of the mother. said, I don't like it without snake. Make festivals for me. Perform my japan. Play for me with snake. This is my way. dwelling in her sacred vessel, is carried in procession on royal palanquins through the town. The masses of snake play are mounted on clay tigers and are drawn through the streets with their serpent charges. They follow the palanquin of the goddess in joyous procession.
Through words of power and knowledge, the masters call the mother and are able to see her. Repeating her name and performing austerities on her behalf, they counteract her poison and contain its power. Hear me, O oh merciful one. The snakes are your constant and powerful companions. It is by your snakes that your worship will be established on earth. Hear me, O oh watchful one. You cannot triumph except by showing the consequences of your wrath. If men do not fear you, no one in all the three worlds will worship you. Therefore, O oh mother of serpents, slaughter your enemies. Show mercy only to those who adore you. Processions are more than spectacle. They are invitations to glimpse the radiance of the goddess and offer her some evidence of devotion. The goddess in turn surveys her realm, acknowledging the celebration and worship of her subjects. Ritualists carry the vessel of Manasha on their heads, the most sacred part of the human body. They go to a river or pond where the goddess is ceremonially bathed. The vessel of invocation is the dwelling of the goddess. It is made to receive divinity just as a house is prepared for the arrival of a respected guest. The pure water and earth of rivers are put inside. Fresh mango leaves and white lotuses adorn the entrance. Red clothes will dress the goddess when she has been bathed. sweets are offered to Manasha. An auspicious plate of 27 sacred objects is presented to her with lights and incense. Instead of an animal, a vegetable is sacrificed.
The priest lifts the goddess out of the palanquin and welcomes her to her temple, where her human image is kept. Sacred stories about her are carved and painted on the walls around her. Through ritual action, the priest gains sufficient purity and power to receive the goddess, to bring her to her altar and compel her to reveal herself. Devotees likewise must prepare themselves. They bathe to become pure. They wear purified clothing and fresh garlands of flowers. They sing devotional songs, fast, and perform other austerities to draw Manisha's attention. The goddess is worshipped with waving lights, bells, and incense, which dispel darkness and ignorance and celebrate the radiance and grace of the mother. Offering her these auspicious things is to serve her with the best that human beings can provide. Masters compete by performing feats with their snakes, recite words of knowledge, and sing about the deeds of the goddess. Through the grace and power of Manisha, they survive snake bite and the harmful words of their enemies. Cobras gladden Manisha most. They move with the rhythm of her songs. They rise up and strike angrily, giving joy to the goddess. Unless we have the grace and mercy of the mother, unless we worship with devotion, we will not receive the blessings of the goddess. Manisha's worship is a divine matter, after all. 
before the gods, we are nothing.